Hello, Daryl from Mitakita. So today, what's in the box? We're going to have a look at an 18 volt LXT grinder. This is a brushless machine, but it's a slightly different one. It's our X-Lock version, which we do in a four and a half inch model and a five inch model. So that's 115 or 125. The one we're looking at today is the 115, which is the four and a half inch. So as it's a box, we don't give you the plastic box because it's a body only. So we'll have a look what we've got. We've got the rubberized handle, so it's a, a nice quality handle. We've got the quick release guard. We've got the grinding disc with the slightly different center, as you might notice, because it's to fit the X-Lock system. And then we've got the machine itself. So I'll just shut the box up so that we can have a look at the machine in a little bit more detail. So it's an 18 volt body. It'll fit any of our 18 volt LXT batteries, the ones with the yellow chip on you have got a variable speed on the base, which means you can slow it down and speed it up for different applications, whether it be a wire brush, whether it be grinding, whether it be slitting discs, whether it be diamond discs. If we flip it over, we've got a chart telling you how fast in each speed that the machine will run. There's an indicator telling you how much charge you've got. So at any time you know whether you've got a third, two thirds or three thirds worth of charge. As we work our way down the body, we've got a soft, grip. The paddle handle is a handle that you can't leave running. So it's a little lever on the front. You pull that back, which allows the trigger to go. As soon as you let go for safety reasons, it cannot be locked on. You've got the chart telling you the speed and the model number. It's always good to have that on, especially if it's an older machine. You need to know for the blades especially. Then we go to the front. It's a metal head with a spring-loaded lever. The Front section is slightly different. You've got no uh, fastening plates. What it's got, it's got like a quick release chamber. So if we have a look in a little bit more detail, how we put the guard on. So you've got a spring loaded section there. So I'll try and hold it in this way. It's put on the opposite way around. So we put it so it's facing away from us, spring loaded, keeping his finger on the trigger and then it locks. That way we can just turn it to different settings. So you would line it up with the trigger open against the plate until you've got it to line up correctly. When it's lined up correctly, you would just press it and it's locked. As with any machine, give it a test run before you've actually used it, but it's also able to release it quickly. So it's a DJA 469Z, because it's a body only, X-Lock grinder. Let's just have a look at some of the features on the machine. It's a brushless model. It's four and a half inch. It's got a soft start, so it's great for starting on different applications. You've got a paddle handle. You've got an electric brake, so as soon as you take your hand off, it'll stop. You have got a torque limiter on there and an anti-restart. So once you've let it go, it won't restart until you put the trigger system into it again. You have got two great features on this. You've got the AFT system that Makita does, which is basically like a brake system, which if you jam it into something, it will stop it dead. So it will never overload itself. You've also got another great feature, which is where the little dial on the bottom comes, there's a little clear hole called ADT, Auto Drive Torque, which means if you are really maybe buffing something or cutting something and it starts to struggle, the green light might go to solid and then it would increase its speed to get you through the application and then the green light would go off and then you get your job done a lot quicker. So the DGA 469 ZX Lock Grinder in 18 volt. Thanks for watching.